A security camera for truck beds. That's our text to nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Canopy is Chief Product Officer Sam Harris. Hi, Sam. Hi. Thanks for having me. A pleasure to meet you. Tell us a bit about the company. Yeah, so so Canopy is a, a joint venture between Ford Motor Company and ADT. Uh, the project actually started originally within Ford uh, in a couple of different places, actually, interestingly. So I was working uh, in the UK on the new transit vehicle that just launched. There was also a team looking at kind of connected services for, for the F-150 program. And we uh, really kind of set out to, to understand what our users' biggest pain points were. Uh, and the, the theme that just kept coming back was for people who use their vehicles for work, the security of the vehicle is important, but sometimes even more important than that is the security of the things they leave inside the vehicle. The tools, equipment, material that they use to, to really do work, do their job and you know earn money and pay the bills. And so we uh, spent a lot of time with those customers. Security just kept coming back as like the number one concern. And we, we kind of looked at the technology that was available on the roadmap, and we know that there's some great opportunities around integrating that technology into, into vehicles right at the, at the line in the factory. Uh, but we also wanted to do something sooner than that and start learning and start getting this technology into the hands of customers as soon as we could. So that's why we set up Canopy. Uh, we actually reached out to ADT. We ran a small pilot with them while we were in Ford. And frankly, the, the feedback that customers had on the ADT portion of the service was just tremendously positive. ADT were really excited. So we decided that in order to offer something that's multi-make, that's for, for everyone, not just for Ford customers, not just for new vehicles, but something that anyone can order and store on their truck in a really short amount of time, uh, we set up Canopy to do that. And that's what we've been working on for about a year now. Our, our pre-orders are currently open. We're seeing kind of tremendously positive feedback there. Uh, and we've been running running kind of our, our social media campaign and, and development work to, to really get the brand out there. Terrific. And, and when will uh, you be shipping to buyers? So we'll be shipping uh, in September, uh, kind of mid to, mid to late September is the current plan. The devices are, we actually have some of the team going out to, to see the, the final devices, final test devices running on the line shortly. So we are very close at this point. So this is called the Canopy Pickup Cam. Step us through uh, what it can do and the, the installation process. Sure, absolutely. So the the device really is is more than just a, a camera. Like it's it's really about the detection that happens. So the device is a as an intelligent device. So it mounts on your rear window. The power unit, the hub unit, goes under the the rear seat. So we split those two units out, and that's why that way, if a thief breaks and takes the the sensing unit. Uh, you still have all of your data. We can still tell you where the vehicle is. That can actually go in a locking compartment on some vehicles. The new F-150 actually has a locking compartment under the seat that we designed it specifically to fit in. Um, and the unit, the sensing unit is using like a combination of radar, accelerometer, some cameras to actually uh, detect when a theft is happening. And the reason we do that is we don't want the camera running all the time. Uh, because that's, that's no good to anyone. If you're capturing 24 hours of footage every day that you have to go through to find an event, it's it's not helpful. So we use the radars. They're running all the time. They're not capturing data. They're just kind of monitoring the area. Uh, when we see something that we think is suspicious, so someone loitering around the truck bed, someone reaching into the truck bed, within half a second, we actually wake up the camera, take an image, and look at that image and confirm that there's a person in frame. If there is, we notify you, and shortly, uh, shortly after launch, we'll be able to notify ADT, um, and they can ADT can dispatch police. You can call the police. We capture all of the evidence for when you need to do kind of uh, insurance reports and police reports. That evidence is right there, and then we use the LED bar on the device, uh, and we have some some other surprising features coming later on that will actually be a deterrent for the thief as well. So is there a cellular connection built into the camera? Yeah, so the, the hub unit has a 4G cellular connection that allows you to live stream video whenever you want and receive all of those notifications in the video. So at any time uh, when the device is active, you can just turn the live stream on um, and the device will show you what's happening in the bed of your truck, kind of whether you're right next to your truck or you're on the other side of the country. It makes, makes no difference. 
And one you've got a pretty, w- pretty wide field of view here in the high quality camera, right? Yeah, so it's a HD camera, 180 degrees field of view. The radars actually have over 180 degree field of view. And what we wanted to protect against was people coming up next to the cab and trying to reach into the bed. We can still detect those people. We have a, a very robust set of tests we run to confirm that the device is able to pick up everything we want to pick up. Um, so yeah, wide, wide field of view, kind of the complete protection of the, the truck bed. And as far as the installation is concerned, did the uh... Is this attached to the rear window with a an adhesive, a 3M kind of thing, or what's going on there? Exactly that. So we use uh, VHB tape. We actually use the same tape uh, that uh, is used to mount like body moldings on the on the outside of the vehicle. So it's it's super strong. It's not falling off. It's not going anywhere. Um, it mounts directly to the the rear window. We actually include a, a template. Uh, in the device uh, packaging to help you mount it correctly. And then the running the wires, installing the power unit takes uh, about 15 minutes. It's a very, very easy install. And where, where is it plugged into to get the power more or less? So we're launching with the OVD port, but really we can use any power in the vehicle. We just chose the OVD port because it tends to be free, not in use. You don't have to remember to unplug it. It's out the way, but we could use the Scarjack. We can use USB ports. Um, and that is something we're looking at for future vehicles. And of course, uh, your preference would be a, a Ford pickup, but can this work with uh, any kind of vehicle or truck? So, so Canopy is not just targeting Ford vehicles. Now, I, I spent a long time at Ford, so obviously I, I personally have a preference for, <laughs> for Ford vehicles, but uh, Canopy uh, is multi-make. So we've tested it on everything from beat up old uh, work trucks to, to brand new Rivians. Like we, we went and actually rented kind of the top 10 selling vehicles in the US and did what we call Trucker Palooza, which was our testing event, where we went out and tested this on all of the trucks all at once. We figured out what trucks work well, what we needed to tweak for the trucks that weren't working as well. We really have like a broad set of data that allows this to work on anything. Tell us about pricing and how this will work. Sure. So the, the upfront pricing for the device is, is $299. Um, for our pre-order customers, we're actually halving that to $149. Um, then there is a, a kind of a free period uh, for the subscription of about 45 days um, where you get to try the device. And then after that, the subscription is, is $14.99. And really, the reason there's a subscription is because the device has its own data connection. So similar to your, your cell phone, there's a data plan that we need to offer the live streaming and offer the intrusion alerts. Um, and what that also allows us to do, which is I think the feature that we're, we're kind of most excited about is OTA, the device, so over the air update, the device. We have, um, you know, OTA is a, is a really hot topic within the automotive space right now. And it's something that consumer electronics devices have been able to do for a while because they're a little bit, a little bit simpler. We've actually, design the device from the ground up to be OTA uh, updatable. So all of our features are actually going to get better over time. I'll give you an example of that. For our beta wave two, which is a, just about to launch, we're going to get the device into the hands of about 100 people to do some do some final testing, final sign off. Our battery life is like three to three-ish days, call it. By the time we get to launch, it'll be five days. And as we continue to optimize over time, we're kind of targeting well north of that. So the device, and as we learn more about the, the users and how thieves behave and how our users behave, the devices will only get better over time. Really, really interesting. Is it uh, transferable? Uh, how, how permanent is the mount once you've stuck it on that rear window? So the device is not permanently affixed. It is There is a way to, to get it off. Uh, and we will actually have a device removal kit that requires you to kind of leave uh, like a, a solvent on the the window for a a little bit of time to help the the tape come off uh i would say it's not permanently attached it's it's not uh easy to get off but it is transferable between vehicles as well so if you sell your truck and get a new truck uh you can um just move the device from one to the other it's probably not something you'd want to do every week though and how did it come about the the idea tell us about the the germination here Sure. So uh, it's a it's an interesting uh, story, and I think there are a few versions of this story around. But I'll, I'll tell you my version, uh, which is so we were working on uh, a new product for for 
the, the, the transit program. And we wanted to, to put a camera in the bulkhead of the, the van, uh, one of the earlier vans, but unfortunately due to kind of limitations and timing, we came up with the idea kind of late in the program. We just weren't able to get it in. I was actually charged with the, the software side of, of that at the time. I kind of went home that night and, you know, my background is actually mechanical engineer. I was a mechanical engineer at Ford for a little bit. And I was like, well, you know, this accessory can't, can't be that hard to build, right? Dash cams are exist. Maybe we put a dash cam in the load space. Um, I'm sure this is an easy problem to, to solve. And it was only when we, we really started getting into it and exploring kind of like, well, for the van customer, for example, when you put a camera in the load space of the van, how do you know when to turn it on? And so we actually went out and we prototyped and built an audio model that could listen for people breaking into a van. We went and trained it on some samples of people breaking into vans. And so it was kind of, we, we uncovered this just like really interesting problem. And at the same time, we were speaking to users all the way through, people who buy vans, people who buy trucks, and we just, I think, maybe didn't appreciate how big a problem this was for our customers. So we were kind of uncovering both this like really interesting technical challenge to solve and just how deep a pain point this was for, for customers. And so I uh, was working in a part of the organization called Ford Next at the time uh, in the UK. This was actually, uh, the project was called Sentinel when it was in Ford. Sentinel was the one of the first projects at Ford X in the UK. Uh, or in Europe. And then we, we kind of combined with another project, which is when Christian, who's our CEO, came on board. And since then, we've kind of grown the team. We were about 30 people when we left Ford. We're at just over 80 now. Exciting. So where can people go for more information and, and maybe to order? So you can go to canopy.security. The pre-order is, is open now. So you can uh, go and get a, a pre-order device or you can go to any of our social medias. We're kind of Canopy Security on, on all the major social media accounts. And again, that's canopy.security. Sam Harris, thank you for spending time with us. Thank you, Fred. Appreciate the time.